In part one of this video, I talked about a general overview of tropisms and the role of auxins in phototropism. In this video, I'll be discussing the role of auxins in gravitropism and investigating plant growth responses. So let's talk about gravitropism. As expected, gravity has the opposite effects on shoot and root growth. So positive gravitropism means that growth is in the same direction as a force of gravity, and we see this in the roots of the plant. Negative gravitropism means that growth is the opposite direction to the force of gravity, and we see this in the shoots of the plant. So you can see here that the shoot is growing in the opposite direction to the force of gravity. Meanwhile, the shoots are growing in the same direction as a force of gravity. Like phototropism, gravitropism is also really important to plants. It's particularly important for germinating seeds. The plant always grows in the right way up, even if seeds are placed the wrong way up. In shoots, auxin accumulates on the lower side, so cells here elongate faster and the shoot bends upwards. So auxin accumulates on one side, and that stimulates cell elongation. And this means that the plant bends upwards. This is in the opposite direction to the force of gravity. In the roots, auxin also accumulates on the lower side. But as I mentioned before, auxin inhibits the growth in the roots, so cells grow faster in the upper part of the root. So you can see here, there's lots of auxin in the lower part of the root. So this inhibits cell elongation in the lower part of the root. And this means that the root grows downwards in the direction of the force of gravity. So you can see here, the root is growing downwards. One interesting fact about gravitropism is that it can even happen in the dark, for example, when the seed is buried in soil. Negative gravitropism is really useful as it makes sure that the roots grow downwards to provide anchorage and to gain better access to water. This helps to keep the plant structure stable and also allows it to get the water needed for photosynthesis. So now I've talked about phototropism and gravitropism, but we can actually measure and investigate plant growth responses. So the effect of light and gravity can be investigated using crest seeds. Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific GCSE biology and combined science videos, just click the snap revised smiley face. Join me today and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.